click, click, click. Sorry, I uh, actually have film in here and so. Welcome to BHT Studios and let's talk about my recent trip to Germany. going to be a quick overview of my entire two-week trip to Germany. I'll have separate videos. A lot of the stuff that you just saw, they'll, they'll all be separate videos. But the main reason why I was in Germany was for the celebration of photography event hosted by Leica headquarters. And so thank you so much Leica headquarters for inviting all of us, which was like 80% photographers, which was awesome. There's like influencers and that kind of stuff. Meh. Ah, we don't need those. We need real photographers. And there were also like really interesting people, uh, those that publish magazines. The English natives tend to uh, pronounce it Der Grief. It's not right, it's Der Greif. It's an organization for contemporary photography um, that I co-founded in 2008. There were art gallery dealers and stuff like that, but the people that I met were just awesome and amazing. I made a lot of contacts there. And so uh, thank you so much. Special thanks to uh, Leica USA for inviting me, Kidan. Thank you so much for thinking of such a small brand like myself to be able to go there, as well as giving me the opportunity to interview both Dr. Andreas Kaufman as well as Stefan Daniel. So that was sort of the highlight for me. And to do that, I needed a videographer. And so I invited Juan from Beers and Cameras to come with me uh, to shoot those videos. And so I'll have those as separate videos. And another special thanks to Yvette. Heck yeah who made sure before the trip and during the trip and then after trip that everything went smooth. She was there to make sure that we slept enough and that we ate enough and to make sure that we didn't get lost. Juan got lost. That's good. But overall, the trip was just amazing. Everyone at Leica was amazing. And I look forward to making another trip to Leica HQ for future projects. And so that was the main reason why I was there. And um, everyone said there's going to be a new camera being launched, like a new, I don't know, M something or another. And uh, no, they, were, they just invited people to actually celebrate photography. And they invited photographers to celebrate. So that kind of, it all just makes too much sense. And then after that, Juan, myself, as well as Jason Roman, aka Stock Easy, we took off to Berlin to do a pop-up beers and cameras event with Safe Light Berlin and a hundred over a hundred people showed up. Samuel Street Life. He came down from Hamburg as soon as he found out that we were in town. So thank you everyone that showed up to the event. I think someone flew in from from the Netherlands or from Norway or something. So I forgot what her name was, but thank you so much for coming and everybody else for showing up and including my cousin who lives in Munich. She took the train up so she could hang out with us in Berlin. But by the time the event was over, we were all exhausted and the next morning we slept in till 11.30. 
a.m. This is me with like multiple watches and alarm clocks and things of that nature. And we had a 10 a.m. meeting with the folks over at 10, 11, 9 that makes these awesome watches. And so we ended up not getting there till like 2 p.m. or something like that. And so sorry guys for showing up so late. I'm gonna have another separate video with Life and Sonia. So look forward to that video. And I just love Berlin. It was such, I knew when I went to Germany that I had to go see Berlin for myself. And it is an amazing place. 10 and 11, nine studios, amazing. The, the, just the, the buildings were amazing. The people, the, the subway stations. I had an awesome time. And then the next day, Samuel, uh, his brother Kenny, and my cousin, myself, all four of us, we met up and me and Sammy, we shot three videos, two for himself, I think one for the Rico GR channel, and then one for himself. And I shot one video for myself. Maybe I'll put a little insert here. Let's see. All right, so thank you so much for, I think so we're looking over here, right? Oh, like okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta make sure we're looking at the audience, yeah, not yeah. the screen, like a yeah. na narcissistic. Uh, <laughs> And so thank you, Samuel Dintaro Hoft, for bringing the Ricoh GR3X, which I tried to get from North America, but they said they couldn't get me a copy. But Samuel, you hooked me up in Germany with an extra GR3X. So thank you so much. I had a great time. So after shooting those videos with Samuel, I was pretty much free for the rest of my trip in Germany. So as I mentioned, my cousin who lives in Munich came up to Berlin to hang out with us. And then we went back to Munich and then I used Munich as a home base. Now for street photography, Munich is almost too pretty. I'm sure you can pull it off, but it's a very pretty city. And if I spent more time there and if I wasn't with my cousin and sort of spending time with family, I probably could have pulled off more pictures, but uh, I spent all the time just like eating. All right, what is this called again? Um, ein Laugenbrötchen mit Leverkäse und Spiegelei. Is that seriously the full name? I guess so. Well, it's not the. It's not a. How can I'll, I say? I'll have the Bavarian egg McMuffin with ham. Mm -hmm. All right, cousin. What is this? This is Apfelstrudel. Can you say that again? Apfelstrudel. Apfel. 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 Strudel. Strudel. And just being a tourist, which is. Fantastic, and it was fun. But I used it as a home base. And from Munich, we went to, uh, I went to another headquarters. I went to Adidas headquarters, just outside of Nuremberg. All right, guys, we finally made it. This is what I was waiting for. I mean, nobody invited me or anything. It'd be nice. And initially my cousin's like, why do you wanna go there? And I just said, I, I, I love sneakers. I even had a chance to sit down with uh, the founder of Adidas, who is Adi Dassler. And well, it's a, it's a bronze statue, but I, I had a quick little convo with him. Mr. Dassler, I'm very happy to be here with you, looking out into nothing and yet contemplating life, life, without sneakers and what type of life that would have been. We all would have been just wearing dress shoes and Birkenstocks, which wouldn't be horrible, but we wouldn't be moving very quickly. And the campus is awesome, but because of COVID, I tried to get, I mean, got into HQ building, but everything was kind of quarantined and shut off. And I was trying to get into the Adidas cafeteria, but it was for staff only. So next time I'll make sure that I am officially invited to go visit headquarters. But they also have the world's largest Adidas outlet store. It's Adidas and Reebok. And they had a lot of stuff. And I really had to keep it together not to buy too many pairs of shoes. But I ended up buying just one pair and a duffel bag to throw in extra stuff on the way back. And then also took off to Austria because I was in search of the perfect schnitzel. And everyone said, you have to go to Austria. Well, specifically Vienna, that's a bit too far away. From Munich, it's like a two, three hour train ride from Munich to Salzburg. So we went to Salzburg and looked at some castles and looked at some old buildings. It was a Sunday, so 80% of the shops were closed, but the schnitzel shops were not closed. So I just got my salad. Oh, schnitzel has arrived. Big schnitzel? <laughs> the big schnitzel. Okay. Thank you. Whoa. And little coffee shops were not closed. And the chocolate Mozart chocolate people were not closed. All right, so we're gonna eat this uh, chocolate ball cousin what is it called mozart kugel mozart kugel it's a, a famous dessert that's made 
or treat confectionery made by this company called First, I guess, because they were the first to make it. And it's like a chocolate with, what's the inside? Mar Pistachio marzipan nougat. Pistachio marzipan nougat. So that was awesome. Great to see old things. I was able to take some pictures of my cousin because of course she's always with me. So she, and also one second, the main camera I had with me was the Leica Q2. Now we'll shoot another video. Before I went to Germany, I shot a video about what camera gear I will be bringing. And then I'll do another video, sort of a, let you know how I use everything, not just the camera gear, but as well as the accessories, the bags and how everything worked out. But the Q2 was my main camera. And I think for traveling and for vacationing, I mean, this is pretty much all you need if you are a 28 mil shooter, which I am. So I had a great time shooting with this, but as well, I did bring my Leica M7, which was tuned up by the fine folks over at Leica headquarters. Nicholas? Yes. Yeah. Kaufman? Right. No <laughs> you, you, you will take care of my M7? I will take good care of your M7, yes. All right, yeah. I look forward to it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> and so thank you so much for uh, Mr. Kaufman, the other Mr. Kaufman, uh, for tuning this up for me, and as well as KEH for letting me borrow a couple of lenses. I have the 35 Lux as well as the 50 Lux, but I had a great time using this lens both in Germany as well as when I got back. And so, um, yeah, but this this was my main camera. Other than the time when I was in Berlin and I had the GR3X, but uh, between this and the GR and my film camera and my iPhone and my GoPro, I mean, that's a lot of cameras. It all kind of worked out. And the GoPro and the iPhone I used to get a lot of B-roll that you've been watching throughout this video. So all those things worked out awesome. And so like I said, I have many more videos to come and maybe I'll throw in another couple sneak peeks in here. Yes, you wanna see something to Mr. Chan? Uh, Mr. Chan, I know you from the YouTube videos and I also have a Nikon F3 in HP. Greetings to you. But do you want to buy any anything that he has that he won't sell you? And it's also not for sale. Not for sale? Yeah. All right. Take care. In the old portion of it, the, where they have the high-rise buildings, they also have three floors below the street level. And uh, I opened all the doors and found interesting things behind it. But the most interesting, I opened up and there was a pond about 10 meters or 30 feet big and a rowing boat on it. So I got curious and I asked some people, what's the story behind that? And he said, well, see, uh, that is uh, at the, the water level of the river Lahn and Ernst Leitz, the second when he went to get uh, for lunch, he came there, or rowed for these uh, few meters and then go an underground uh, walkway to the house for lunch. It, it sounds very interesting, I liked it, but I don't know if it was really true. Camera Girl insisted that I do kind of like travel vlog and eating videos, so I did like reviews of my hotel room, I did like restaurant reviews, I don't know if you guys want to see those things or not, but I shot them. Thank you again, Leica USA. Thank you, Kiran, for inviting me. Thank you, Yvette, again, for taking care of us. And Juan for coming. Raquel, thank you for letting Juan out of the house. And hopefully, him and I can do more projects in the near future with Leica and with uh, other people. We met a lot of amazing people. So I will be back. I don't know exactly when. And so look forward to seeing Big Head Taco in Germany again, maybe in the spring or summer of 2022. And another, sorry, another special thanks, another shout out to my cousin Nagisa, who actually is in the TV media industry. She actually produces TV shows, and so she really struggled to take that week off and hang out with me, and half the time she was like working on her laptop while we were like waiting between train stations and stuff like that. So thank you, Nagisa, for hanging out with me. And we'll see all you again. And uh, just wait for the videos. And uh, let me know down in the comments uh, what you want to see, especially the little tidbits that I included. I mean, do, do you want to see me doing food reviews? I'll do food reviews, but we'll see what happens, all right? Thanks for watching and happy shooting.